Hi, we are Pine Barren Knits. My name's Hope and this is Keisha. <laughs> um, we are both knitters and we, no, I'm not even sure. Good thing She's my teacher. Edit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been knitting for 17 years. Uh, before that, I was a crocheter and I also sew. I've been sewing for almost 30 years. No, longer than that, almost 40 years. Dang. I've been sewing for almost 40 years. That's so scary. All right. So we decided we're going to give this podcast, well, I don't know, YouTube channel thing a try. So uh, we, if you want to find me on uh, Instagram or Facebook, I am Hope Made Yarn Co. on both. And Keisha is Simply Vintage Designs on Instagram and Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we thought first we would introduce ourselves. So. Oh. How long have you been knitting? I've been knitting for, it'll be five years in July. Yes. I've been crocheting though since I was in fifth grade. Wow. Yes. <laughs> and so. you sew too, don't you sew? I do sew, yes. Yeah. And I also design jewelry from my photography. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that and also for, you know, your earlobes and other <laughs> things. And I just started about a little over a year ago dyeing yarn. So we've got that too. So um, we are coming from South Jersey. We uh, live in the Pine Barrens. That's where our name comes from. Your phone is ringing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> True South Jersey, not Kelly Ripper South Jersey. No, no. Yeah, we're we like are, down in, we we down are in the, the Cape. South. We live down in, in Cape May County, New Jersey. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> See, the front door is probably locked. <laughs> We're going to have to do lots of editing. <laughs> uh, but we're moms. So. Yes, yes. That, that was my son trying to come in through the porch door. So we're on the porch. This is my dye studio. You can see some yarn hanging up in the back. And if you look over to that side, you can see my dye pots. So, um, so do you want to talk about what we're wearing? Oh, yes. I'm wearing my first knitted project. Um, this was supposed to be a crochet jacket, right? No. Oh, yes. You were yes. in a crochet of cardigan. Some kind of cardigan yes. and yes. didn't have enough yarn. And uh, my homegirl over here, Miss Hope, was like, I think it's time for you to learn how to knit. And I was like, ugh. <laughs> but here you go. It's very good therapy for me. So this is my first, my first piece. And what was the name of the yarn? It was on? Madeline Tosh. Yeah. I don't remember the color. It Brooklyn? was it's discontinued. Something? Yeah. I don't remember what yeah, the color it was. Yeah, di discontinued. Was. But, um, and you the, know the poncho is Nice and Knit Kate's Poncho, I believe, is the name of it. I'm pretty sure. Yes. I have to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And every time I put it on, she has to fix it for me because. I, I will make sure that I put that information underneath in the show notes, but I'm pretty sure it was Kate's Poncho by Nice and Knit. Yeah. And I am wearing. I'm wearing the Vertices Unite Shawl by Stephen West, which is knit in a variety of yarns, actually. It's, I think, some yarns from Knit Picks, and so, this one I know is from um, On the Round. Uh, it's not a color that she dyes anymore. I think it's a nice Chianti. Um, I do love a nice and then Chianti. some of my other colors are scrap yarn. So I'm not sure. I think the whiter color in here, the speckled, is a color from um, Wool Bears, one of her hand dyed yarns. And is it the socks are good? No. Yes. No. No, that's Woolens and Nosh. Um, and then I think there's another on the round. I think this is two different shades of on the round yarn. Um, and that's oh and then i also am wearing the retro pullover um i will put who that's by in the show notes i can't remember it's uh, a pattern that you can get through um knit picks and this is knit picks yarn this is wool of the andes your socks and tweed yes and i have socks on too <laughs> and i have no socks on too right now and those are definitely on the round yarn and there's no pattern because i made up the pattern myself and that's also another one that she has discontinued, but it was her time traveler, I think. I think speckled time traveler was the color for the socks, but that's okay. Anyway, um, what else did we want to talk about? We wanted to talk, we talked about what we're wearing. 
what are you working on? Oh, I'm working on a lot of stuff. And um, I've been using here, you talk. Okay, wow. you, you're gonna go find. Yeah. Okay. The first thing that I'm working on is for my son that just tried to come through the door. <laughs> for my youngest son, he loves all things bright and yellow is his favorite color. So I am currently working on super, super bright yellow socks for him. So they're just a, I, did, I started with a two by two rib and then went into a one or a three by one rib for the leg. His legs are skinnier than his, to get, than to get it over his heels. So did something super stretchy for him. So, and that is actually, that yarn is a yarn that I just dyed up specially for him in fluorescent lemon. And, mm -hmm. and then I'm striping it with Knit Picks. What's this color? Yellow, highlighter yellow. Oops. So there we go. You want to share one and then I'll share another? Yeah. So this is the handy dandy project bag that Miss Ash helped me for me for my birthday. I am working on a hat for a certain person that I'm related to. I'm a very selfish knitter. So I haven't done anything for my kids yet. No, no, nope. I've, I've knit for one yeah, of my kids. She's knit it for my kid too. I barely, I just knitted a hat for my husband a few months back. Oh, and I did knit for my friend, Janet. Not yeah, so I'm not totally and you selfish. Crochet for lots I crochet and lots of people. Yeah. So yeah. But this is um uh you know, I, booties too, didn't you I did too. Yeah. yeah. So okay, so I'm not totally a selfish knitter, but <laughs> but anyways, I'm working on this hat and this is the willow Oh. We'll put it in the willow, show notes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was something but it's by, by Aspen. Yes. And this is uh Hope Baby Yarn. This is your bulk? Yes. Yeah, that's uh, my squish base. Yes. And the color is, hold up. The color is Ube. Ube. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It's really nice. The person that I'm making this for has a big head like me. <laughs> so I'm hoping uh, it's got enough, uh, I'll call it farmer stretch. <laughs> the farmer big heads. <laughs> All right. And then I have another sock. Apparently we're doing a little sock chat here. But um, I have another stuff. Our knitting group that we meet with, our, a group of our friends, we all decided when Keisha and I went to Rhinebeck this year, we found ever. some yarn that we really liked from Woolens and Nash at, Wool at the Woolen Folk Festival. And so we had planned to do a knit along, just the two of us, and the rest of our group said, we all want to make socks. So we're all making self-striking socks. Show, I'll right show mine too. Now. Yeah, Keisha's got a pair of Also. Shoes. And a so. handy dandy help me. <laughs> yeah, so this is her colorway. Oh, let me see if I have the tag. Oh, I do. Okay, good. Uh, fall is my favorite. So that's my socks are fall is my favorite. And I've already gotten my heel done. So I'm moving right along on these. We're using the smooth operator um, pattern by um, Susan B. An An Anderson. I can say it. And I can't remember, I guess I must have pulled my color tag off, but I know. I think it was something about pumpkins, but I don't yeah. remember exactly what it was. But the same company, and um, this matches all my camping gear and hiking stuff. And I've only gone on one camping trip. I've done a couple of hikes. So, but it matches. But you're going to have really cool socks. i going to have really cool socks okay, that right. I'm probably not going to want to wear because I don't want them to get dirty. <laughs> So. You have to wear them. <laughs> uh, all right, then what else? Oh, my whip that I've probably been focusing on the most lately uh, because I bought the yarn at during Rhinebeck weekend, but it wasn't at Rhinebeck. It was at the Perfect Blend Tea Shop up in Saugerties, New York um, on actually two different weekends going up there. One time I went up on a trip and then another time we were going to Rhinebeck and we went back. So then I didn't touch it because oh, I started. No, it's okay. 
<laughs> then I didn't touch the yarn for a year because I started dyeing yarn and I didn't have any time to work on anything that I actually wanted to knit for myself. So now I decided when we were going back to Rhinebeck this year in 20 or this past year in 2022 that I was going to get started on the project. So I really, really want to wear it. So I've been focusing pretty that. heavily on it. So I decided I only had four hanks of the blue and I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough to make it full, the length full. So I wanted to do the sleeves first. So I got my sleeves done already. And the color work is pretty good matching pretty. wise. And uh, so this is the color. The color I used for my contrast for my color work is from Peterbrook Farm. It's their entry entropy. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Entropy base. And I don't remember what the color was. I will find that and let you know next time, or I'll put it down in the show notes. And the blue is Emma's yarn. And I believe it is Navy Blazer is the colorway. It's an Emma's yarn. And it's it's knit in DK. And the pattern is Orialis by I'm dropping stuff. The pattern is Orialis by. Jennifer Steingass, who is Knit Loved Wool on Instagram. So this hopefully, I'm almost done. Hopefully. I'm getting close. I think Hope I've got is hopefully. <laughs> I think I am at about nine inches from the underarm, and I think I have to get to 11 before I do the ribbing. So, and I have plenty of yarn left, over, yarn left, so I know I can do it, but I'm hoping to have it done soon so I can start wearing it. Yay! So do you have okay. some more? My turn. Of course. <laughs> So, uh, guess what I got? I got another homemade bag. I also Surprise! Have mine in a homemade bag as well. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> so, Hope, um, she uh, for Rhinebeck. Was it for Rhinebeck? You did the love note. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, it was for Woolen Folk. I wore Wollenfolk. my Rhine, or my love note to to Woolen Folk. So this is the thing. She's gonna be on the same page, and I'm like. You know, oh, I'll be able to start this and get this done. We all laugh and laugh. I didn't get it done. <laughs> but I'm almost done the sleeve. The sleeve I still have to do the other sleeve. But anyways, so this is this fills this is another squish? No. No, yes. that's my DK. That is splendid DK. Splendid DK. And, and this is sweater sweater weather. weather. And this is going to look so adorable when I'm done. She actually has the same color. I copy just about off of everything that she does. So No, that's not true. I know, that's not true because I can't do half the stuff that she does. But anyways, <laughs> my we plan do. on is for this to be done by next right back. You will definitely have it done. Yes, right? definitely. But it feels so soft. It's like wearing a wooby. <laughs> and it has the nerve to be cropped. So we need to work on some other things too. I mean, I'm going to have something on underneath it, obviously. But still. <laughs> all right well and then i have okay and because i had not worked on anything out of yarn that i had purchased from rhinebeck in 2021 i decided before the rhinebeck in 2022 that i was going to cast on a bunch of stuff so this is yarn that i got at rhinebeck from let's see it just says yarn hunch i think they're called Heir, heirloom i think they're heirloom but their website's yarn hygiene i'll put it down in the show notes and the color way is summer's farewell so it's really purples and browns and greens and i'm and it's their dk base which is a 75 25 merino nylon and i am making some dk socks because i have a pair of purple doc martins that i think this really yarn nice with that yep will be perfect with and I like the DK for to wear with my boots because my boots are a little big on me and it just makes it fit a little bit nicer so that's what I'm working on in that bag and this is another bag that I made for myself so this little oh, oh. Um, <laughs> no I took your shot whoops <laughs> okay and I know you guys are sitting back like she hasn't been doing that young she has a nerve to have all these like projects but I'm a squirrel. So <laughs> this is not a Hope Maybe Bag surprise. This is um it's uh Matarooch. Matarooch. They she's out of Maine. Yes. 
And um, this was yarn that I was not supposed to buy at the New Jersey wool show, right? You know what to? Yeah. Yes, it's the New Jersey, what is it? New Jersey sheep and wool. New Jersey yeah, sheep and wool. Up like at the hundred and uh, fairgrounds. It's in September. Yeah, and because uh, we lost our mind the year before buying yarn and all and we, we, we were out of control crazy oh it was first drying back let's put it this way i have a yarn wall at home now so there's that but i saw this and i i don't have the no i don't have the what you call it but anywho it's by cozy cozy Co what's it? Is that yeah yeah it will we'll put it in the yeah, notes. It i think it's cozy color works but but this is um what do they call this i oh, i did um Oh, what is that pulling? It's uh, oh, it's that, but this is I call this assigned my, pulling. That's yes, it. assigned, it's pulling. assigned pulling. So I call this my pocketbook shawl because I can. It's really it's easy actually. Yeah. So. Oh, oh yeah. Closer. So that's one. I don't know what side I like more. And the colors. That's exactly what it looks yeah. like. That's and it's really called good. caramel. This is really focusing. Well. Oh, yeah. Really and it, the the yeah, it's some kind of caramel. I bought it because it sounds delicious. Caramel. Uh, wasn't it like latte or something? Yeah, caramel, caramel latte salted. Some, uh, some, I don't salted know. That might have been a salted caramel latte or something. Yes. Like that. Yeah. I think that's what it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. Yes. Yeah. So that's part of the reason why I bought it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's see. What else do I have over here? All right. So that Another one. project that I bought yarn over Rhinebeck weekend in 2021. <laughs> I cast on a bunch of stuff and you see how far I've gotten since that was what in October that I, yeah. So this was yarn that I also got at the perfect or the perfect blend tea, uh, yarn and tea shop up in Socrates. Um, and I can't, I such a cute shop have, by the way. I don't know if I have the labels. Okay. I don't have the labels. So, um, but, and this is also in a matter root bag. So this one I got at Rhinebeck this year. Um, but this is pink fizz, the pink fizz sweater by um by andrea mowry i haven't got very far so i haven't had time to work on it much but i was hoping i feel like this would make a it's it's in sport weight so i feel like it would make a nice spring sweater so i'm hoping that maybe maybe this spring maybe next spring we'll see but anyway this is a I, yeah i can't remember i'll i'll figure out who it was by and i'll let you know next time who the yarn is by um Oh, wait, never mind. I have the labels right here. Look at that. See, I'm more whole knit and caboodle. Whole knit and caboodle. And it's her Woo Sport. It's a super wash. And it is 100% merino wool. So that's, that's what that one's knit in. And the color is plum. The color is plum. So, you got another one? And I'm still going. So... <laughs> Um, I have some socks that I'm working on for someone else. See, My mother-in-law, actually. So, so yeah, that's true. <laughs> so these, I had to actually start these over again because I don't know what I was thinking. But um, anyways, uh, this is on the round. What is that? It like is, cornucopia or something? Yeah. Yeah. And this is um I call it a pressure sale because um was it you or Deborah? Somebody said something I don't know about what you're talking about. Yeah, me. on the round. She's having a sale. And I'm like, oh, I gotta order. And I I ordered like four different things. But that was me. this this was one of them. And um this is the vanilla vanilla latte sock. I might be a little bit of an enabler. Oh yeah. Maybe just a little bit. And I'm I'm here for it. <laughs> so but I've been working on these for two years now. Um there's that. But she'll definitely get them this year for her birthday. Okay. <laughs> it's supposed to be leisure needs. Okay. And then, let's see. I have a hat that I'm working. Oh, this is not a hat. Okay, I thought I had a hat here. Oh, oh yeah, I do. I have a hat too. But first, we're going to show a shawl, I guess. Okay. So this is some yarn that I am sampling this is my colorway fairy lights but this isn't one of my bases that are in my shop right now because this is a base that i'm trying to decide if i would like to carry which right now the verdict is probably yes, yes but we're, this is so soft. i'm gonna finish it and i'm gonna lock it and make sure that i like the way it works up but this is the lone skein shawl by hohi locatelli so this is my second time knitting this pattern i knit it for my mom for her birthday present 
now I've decided that I needed a fairy lights shawl because I just think that's going to be just a cute pop of color without being too, too much. So it's going to be like a surprise. Hopefully I'll have that done soon. Yeah. All right. I still got more. <laughs> this is why nothing's done because I start and I stop. But um, this is a bag also, um, I got from Neighborhood Fibers when the Hubs and I went on a little, like, I call it food trip to Maryland because we like to eat. And um, I'm doing the summertime or summer. I'll put that in the notes. I don't know. Yeah, it's a summer something straw. But um, this is <sighs> Hope Made Yarn that you discontinued. Yeah, yeah discontinued. discontinued but um, Twinkle Light. Twinkle Lights and, and Soren. And Soren. Actually, I'm doing the wrong side. But anyways, okay. my little quick. And I should be. I should have been done with this a long time ago. But you're almost there. I'm almost there. And this is them in there in their cakes. <laughs> I'm calling them cakes now. I'm not hearing balls. <laughs> it's official. <laughs> All right. Do you have any more? Uh, yes, I do. I have two more. <laughs> <laughs> She thinks she has a lot. I I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> anyway, and this isn't really all because I do actually have a blanket on the needles too, but I haven't worked on it in a while because it's just a scrap blanket. And so that one's not coming out today. Maybe when I have time to put a little Ooh, bit like that put into it, I will bring it out. This is, oh, it's not, oh, blue is terrible. It is not. As, yeah, it doesn't look like yeah, that. Yeah, that's not right. It's more of like a dark, dark teal. Yeah. Um. That's looking. That's really not doing gray. it justice. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's That's not, not doing it justice no, at all. It's not. But it's a really, trust me, it's a. Really That's not the color, color it looks like. But anyway, it is my colorway um, Moody Blue. I don't have that one. No, I. I did you? No. I don't have that color. I don't think you did. I'm going to have it later on and, when I leave. And this is my squish base. And this pattern is the. Pretty. Oh, um, the Sidewinder Beanie. Yeah by um aspen leaf knits and this is like my fifth time knitting this pattern so i enjoyed i like this pattern and i like your stitch and marker actually, too. yes and that is <laughs> one of keisha's stitch markers which goes very nicely with I mine. Say, yeah especially knitting. eyeball to eye um, like eyeball <laughs> in real life like that yeah it so does, look at that it does look how it looks another knitting group that i'm in we are currently doing a knit along with this hat so mm -hmm. everybody is knitting the same hat in different shades yeah. so that's one of my projects okay so another one and this one i started a couple years ago three years ago no you started it after rhinebeck 2021 okay yeah yeah because you got the one one color that's right Ryan Beck. so fun story with this now these bags wait oops so these bags right here are from one of our favorite shops when we go to um Ryan Beck, we go to the knitting room so such this is, a cute shop such a cute shop they and they're are, so cool so, yes they are so lovely and there. i got like another bigger one so here's the uh, <laughs> this is a mid-sized one because i actually have yarn in the bigger one but anywho, I started um, this. This is this is the Exploration Station shawl by Stephen West. Yes, this will be my second Stephen West this is your shawl. Second, your yeah. second shawl by Stephen West. And it makes me I I think of hamburger and cheese whenever I look at this. But this is where I'm at so far, and I have to tell you a story about that color yarn. So, but this is neighborhood. Some of it's all no, it's no. not all. You yeah. Don't. Three this is thanks of neighborhood fiber. And yeah, this is neighborhood fiber. Cake. Well, I'll just show you the cakes. Neighborhood fiber, which I kept trying to buy. Oh, closer, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. That's exactly what it looks like. Neighborhood fiber. Uh, that's yeah, not that's quite little, exactly yeah. right. It's a little darker. It's darker. Than that. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting a little blown out. And we've got this brown. You know what though? That's coming out a little too orange. How about here? Maybe a little. Oh, okay. oh, that's maybe this one's better. Yeah, I think they both look okay. a little bit better. Better far away. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So and this then, one. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, oh, we're there in the shop at the 
I've been knitting room. Yeah. And (laughs) I said something about wanting to start the shawl and she's like, you'll need another color. But she's looking and she's looking at this particular scheme. It's in my hand. In her hand for herself. In my hand. I about like knocked her out and took it from her. And I was just like, thanks, snatched it. Right out of my hand. Right out of my hand. Just like. This is a good idea. It's a great color. And yeah. Yeah. So. But this is plucky. Plucky. Yeah. Plucky knitter. That's the plucky Plucky knitter. knitter. I don't know what color it is, but that's the plucky knitter. Yeah. I can't remember what color it is either. Yeah. But I have all the tags and stuff somewhere at home. Not somewhere at home. I have them all in a bowl and I'll try to match everything up with them later. If we don't get it in the notes for this one, when we. Obviously, we're yeah. still working on these projects, so when you see them again, we will make sure that we put them in the notes, or we'll. And I'm learning how to know. brioche, which for someone with ADHD, well, <laughs> so patient with me, and she <laughs> said to me, "Do not try to do like your first brioche product in front of the TV with anybody yeah. in the house with any thoughts in your head. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. focus on that." So this is taking me a little bit longer, but I have a wonderful teacher, so. <laughs> We will, we will get it. We will get it done. Yes. We will. And I think I only have one more project. Oh, I didn't break. I'm also working on another project that is for, I, I'm in a group called Knit for Peace. And I'm working on a sh- scarf for that, but I didn't bring that out here today. So I'll show you that another time. Um, and this is another yarn that I am trying to decide if I want. Oh, that's not quite right. Mm. Mm. Uh, it's a little I think it's darker and for yeah that makes yeah. it look it looks a lot lighter but anyway this is a yarn that I am trying to decide if it's one I want to carry it's a non super wash and it's got the kind of I don't know if you can see kind of has a look of like a, a tweed farmier yeah. Yeah. Kind, type of rustic type of yarn but it is merino and it is very soft as Isn't I have sweater that you and Brandy are working. Yeah, yeah. that's the sweater I'm working. On. I have um, yeah. I have very sensitive skin, so like you can see, this is not a super soft yarn. So I have a shirt with a collar oh, on yeah. underneath of it because if it was on my skin, it would be itchy. Yeah, me. this feels like so. Heaven. When I want to wear something against my skin, it has to be super super soft. And does it look actually the color? Yeah, it's like the furry. I feel like it's coming out. It's a very warm, almost tan gray. I don't know if it's really Yeah, it's not. Me. I feel like it's more coming out of a cooler gray. In the, yeah. So it's okay. It feels really nice but though. I am working on the Big Cozy Cardigan by, or I think it's called the Big Cozy Cardi by uh, um, Drea Ren- Rena and Knits, Andrea Mowry. So this is the wrong side, but I think it's going like to be this. my right yeah. side because the right side's nice. I really like the texture on the wrong side. We'll see. I have so to, right, it's wrong. Yeah, I have to knit 30 inches, and I'm at three right now. So I've got a lot of time to decide which side I want to have. Even in 2027. Because <laughs> it's on size, I think, I don't know. What size are these? It's on size four needles Oof. with sport weight yarn. So it's not going super, super fast. I think it's like 270-some stitches yeah. per row. So. 20. It's, it's okay. gonna take a little while. That's okay. It's enjoyable. I do a couple rows every day or so. It's like I do a one front and back, and then put it away, and then work on my blue sweater that I'm trying to get finished. <laughs> so it's getting there, but yeah. So anyway, you can see it's got like little. You see, you see, it's got a little bit of like right here. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's got a little vegetation. So it looks like it really does. It has that look of, and you can see it's even got a little bit of like a halo. It's got that look of like a nice, you know, farmy type of yarn, but it is super soft. So I'm trying to decide if that's one that I want to carry in my shop or not. I do want to, I don't currently have any non super wash yarns in my shop, but I would like to carry some. So. Once I get this done, we will determine whether that's one that I want to carry. So we will see. I have one more. You still have another one? Oh, okay. okay, she does have more than me today. Oh, because some of us are super judgy over here. I'm not judging. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's I'm no kidding. judgment I here. I, like I said, I have at least I two in the house that I didn't bring out. So I never thought yeah. I was going to ever be like this either. Because I remember my first, I'm just like, wow, you got a lot of yarn. <laughs> 
I yes. remember that. Remember you pulled yes. out all your stuff and I'm thinking to we myself like, tell them. okay, wow. <laughs> when we, so we met when I first moved to Cape May County, mm -hmm. um, we met actually at a yarn shop and she was a crocheter at the time and I was a crocheter and a knitter, but I mostly knit because I don't know, that's just, once I started knitting, I kind of like me now did that a lot. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm we, just kidding. I love crocheting too. <laughs> We met and we found out that we both have three boys. Yeah. So that was, you know, something that kind of, you know, connected us. We both us. wear glasses. Yes. <laughs> but then we didn't see, like we saw, yeah. we would see each other around town. Like. And she was always knitting. Yes. Always knitting. Always and I'm like, had something I want to be like, I want to knit like that one day. <laughs> so then our youngest, who at the time were in kindergarten, kindergarten. Yeah. ended up in the same kindergarten class together. Mm -hmm. So we... Became homegirls. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. They became <laughs> friends and yeah. we started hanging out and knitting pretty much every week. And yeah. we pretty much, we were knitting all the, at first it was kind of sporadic and then it was mm -hmm. weekly until the pandemic hit. And then, and then we were still knitting weekly because we were doing it on Zoom. Yeah. So, with, our, with our knit crew. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now we decided we both have our little small businesses. Yeah. Keisha's jewelry and her stitch markers and her shawl pins. Oh, I, oh, I don't have. Oh, we'll show them next time. Yeah, we'll have to bring some yeah. next time. Um, they keep you guys coming back. Yeah. And I have my hand dyed yarn. Yes. So, and here's actually a couple of, I've got some minis over here just sitting on the table. So. And she does this like thing. Here, hold this back up again. And she does a show and she'll put them just randomly like together like this. And then somebody's walking by there. Oh, I need all of them. <laughs> yeah. So she just lines up the, like. So, but back then, Keisha usually only had like one project going at the yeah. time. It was usually a, cro a crocheted something and it yeah. was just one project. But nowadays, then, and then I, I remember. I may have rubbed off on Yeah, just, just a, a smidge. Bit. And the thing we went to, well, Ryan back, like, yeah. I think because we lost her mind because of the pandemic, we hadn't been yeah. you know, out well, and out. And, the grocery girls were also, they yeah. enabled me because before mm -hmm. I started watching the grocery girls, which I started, I think pretty much pretty close to the time that they started podcasting. I think they only had a few podcasts out when I started mm -hmm. watching them. I always only had one project or maybe one or two projects going at a time. And I had been working on this one sweater for, it was a black lace weight sweater. I will show it to you at some point. <laughs> Trust me, it's not a good idea to make a black lace weight sweater. Anyway, that sweater, I tell people that I birthed it because it took me nine <laughs> months and it was the only thing. I didn't have any pro other projects on the needle at the time. It was one project for nine months mm. because it was a lace weight cardigan in black yarn. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I finished the sweater, but I found the grocery girls while I was knitting this sweater and realized... I don't have to work on one project at a time. What what was I thinking? Why don't I have to work on one project at a time? So that's when I, now I always have a pair of socks in my bag. I always have other stuff. That way, you know, there's some projects that are great for taking to knit night. And there's other projects that you take to knit night and you take it home and you rip everything out you did at knit night. That is horrifying. Because you shouldn't do cables at knit night. Because, yeah. you. I'm going to totally share some of the up. photos that she would take out of things. Oh, it was, oh. <laughs> she looks a little panicked. She'll have like a whole entire shawl. Back. She was like, oh, I like how those colors go together. <laughs> and then take a picture. I'm like, that is horrifying. <laughs> but, oh, so my last project that I'm working on, I feel like oh, I, I forgot about those. Yeah, I feel like I have something else at home that I'm working on too. Mm. No, nah, I think that was that. But anywho, so, I think this was right before the pandemic because you gave Kylie and I, she was has, this before? I think it was right before it. I can't remember. Or was it because we were knitting outside? Were we knitting outside? Maybe it was. Oh yeah. Happened? We were knitting. Yeah. So and we were was, knitting outside. It was, like, it was way far in to the point where they were like, you can get all together as long as you're outside yeah, and you keep it. It was in. Okay. I feel like it was. We were outside and this is called her. This is nitpicks, but it's nitpicks. It's their Felici. Felici. So, um, Hope had this and then she had another set that she gave to her friend, um, Kylie. Kylie. Yes. Yeah. 
And um, now I'm bringing farting. I may or may not have a lot of yarn that is just yeah. sitting and not being used. And I realized I'm never going to get around to knitting these. So, so then she gave it to us. And, and, then were, I, and Kylie had actually been talking about ordering some yarn yeah. that day. And I was like, and that's when or, like, ordering stuff was oh, kind of, yeah. it was kind of yeah. funky too. But I started, these are also vanilla. Vanilla latte. They're the vanilla latte sauce. Vanilla latte. But my, <laughs> so I started with this weird design and then the head scrolls kicked in and I'm like, so boring. I'm not going to do it that way. And then also, if you notice, the stripes aren't lining up. They're not going to be exactly the same, which I'm like, these are supposed to be pocketbook socks, but I have a pocketbook shawl right now. So, but, and then Oh, I do have something. Oh, remember the, the tank? The tank top. I had a whole front of a tank top done. Yeah, but you decided to not do it because now I have... Well, yeah, no, I, no, but I'm talking I have about... another project sitting right there. Yeah, I we had this tank See, top. There's no she finished, Yeah, she finished the tank. And then I ripped it out. Yeah, and I hate... I just finished the front part. It was... I ripped it out. I wanted it I to be like... like I wanted it to be like this. And how it was turned did not look like the picture. Mm -hmm. No, didn't like that, that at was all. Kind of a bummer. Yeah, yeah. The picture was a lot different than what. Yeah, the pattern was a little. Yeah, I wanted it to be. So I am trying to re-knit it, but yeah, it's sitting in the basket over there on yeah. the shelf. I can see it from where we're sitting right now. So yeah, no judgment. I still have more <laughs> projects. So at least three that I can think of right off that I'm sure to do because I haven't been working on them. So no. sadly, I actually have been working on everything that I showed you except for maybe. The pink sweater, I probably haven't picked up in a couple of weeks because I've been focused on this one. But everything else I've, I've worked on in the last week. I try to, depending on, like, well, the brewer's thing, I still have to watch the video um, on that. And then the hat, the, the hat that I'm working on, I'm trying not to speed knit because I tend to make mistakes if I know there's, I'm making it for so it has to. So I'm just relaxing. We don't we don't do deadline knit. No, anymore. I cannot do a deadline knit. We we no. learned that if Keisha deadline knits, yeah, yeah there's it's, lots there's of lots mistakes. Yeah. So and then, not that I love having Keisha over all the time, but she's over. All Let's put it this way: time. I was I was the auntie when this was getting made. I mean, there were tears. Now there's no tears. I'm just yeah. like you my know. my boys actually asked. Is Keisha coming over? Yeah. It was pretty much a daily. It Is was. Keisha coming over oh. Again? And then, uh, then there was a. <gasps> and then, like, eyebrows, just like, oh, that's, that's, leave hope alone. It's two in the morning. I'm like, yeah, but the green light's on. She's just checking on her son. And I'm like, oh, she's definitely up. Let me send her a video. I'll wait till five to go over in the morning. No, I'm kidding. I never did that. <laughs> but damn near close. <laughs> so, oh my God, I'm having a hot flash. Uh, so. Yeah, we have that. Going yeah. Too. Oh my god. Lots of fun. Right. Okay. Oh my look, my glasses right. are it's fogging, <laughs> up. fogging up. Okay. All so. right. What else do we want to talk but about? This is our first one, so Okay. So we talked about whips. We talked yes, about check. what you're wearing. We have a list. We're not gonna talk about finished objects today because other than what we're wearing because yeah. you haven't seen what we're working on. So that's right. When we complete some of the things we've shown you. And this will give will... me a goal to have something done. Yeah. Not to race no. to get it done. But, you yeah. know, we haven't decided. We are thinking maybe every other week we'll mm -hmm. try to post, but maybe we've got, as we said, we're both moms. We have a lot going on right now. So it might be once a month or every other week. We're right. going to see what, Until. see what works we'll see. This is what for us. But this is fun. Think? Yeah, it is fun. Yeah. And so what was the other thing we wanted to talk about? <sighs> oh, and then <laughs> <I'm serious. laughs> um, we thought it, that's all of our knitting content. So if that was all you were here for, thank you for coming. Yes. Uh, subscribe if you are, if you liked it, give us yeah. a thumbs up if you liked. Um, and we're going to do a little shop talk. So we together have a show coming up. If hopefully we will post this before our show. Mm -hmm. If not, then it already happened, but hopefully mm -hmm. it's in two weeks. So right. I'm hoping that we can get this posted before the yeah. show, but our <laughs> show is at Rose of Pearl in chester new jersey on mm -hmm. february 25th from 10 to 5 so if you want to come meet us and see our yarn and see keisha's stitch markers and shawl pins and earrings and jewelry and things um 
come come by and see us. So uh, also, you you do all of your stuff through Instagram, right? Um, a little bit Instagram. I'm working with fixing my Etsy. So she's working on her shop. Yeah. But if you if you did you know if you see something on her Instagram, yeah, send you. A I'm message. trying to get better about like yeah, just send me a message right now. I'm trying to um, change things up a bit. Yeah. But there's that little thing. I'm going to be honest. I have ADHD. Like, really have it. So knitting does help. It does help me stay focused and stuff. But um, I'm trying to. And I am. Uh, I have my website is www.hopemadeyarnco.com. I will put a link to it down in the show notes. Um, and you'll put a link and, for my. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We we'll put our, our Ravelry. Our Everything will be yeah. down there. So, um, and I have lots of yarn in the shop right now. Um, back here you can see some red. That's my. Uh, that's my scarlet night color. Um, I have my whole bag over here. I have. This, I don't do minis in the shop, but I do, at shows, I do have minis. So if you like minis and come to my show and I will have them. Hopefully, eventually I will have minis in the shop, but I have not figured out how I want to list them first yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> so this color is a new color, which is not in the shop yet, but I'm hoping to get it in there pretty soon. Mm -hmm. But it will definitely be at my show on the 25th. <laughs> this one is <laughs> dragon fruit. And I also have another new color which is Keisha's Golden. <laughs> so this is also hopefully will be joining the shop soon. Um, and then some of these other ones are things that are coming in the future, things I'm working on, projects I'm working on. So I like to use minis to come up with colors. So, um, and maybe next time we will show you some of the yarn that I have in the shop, but I think we're about 40 minutes yeah. or so. And I feel like that's a good place to stop. For yes. Time. So thanks for joining us. And Bye -bye. hopefully we'll see you again. Bye. Yay.